Hey guys, welcome to RT Keynotes. In today's video, I'm going to perform CRUD operations using web application with servlets. Before getting into this topic, the prerequisites for this topic is that you should watch this particular video for sure because this is the same CRUD operations using JDBC with the Java application we have performed. So I request you to watch this particular video and practice this so that you will get 100% uh, clear with web applications. So I have uploaded this video and it is about 15 minutes and you can implement this one in 10 to 15 minutes so that you will get more clarity. All right. Now, um, for today's topic, I'm going to create one table with five columns. That is ID, name, password, email, and country. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect this particular table in my application that is my web application. So you can see that this is my project name servlet crud application. I have index.html and then I have seven servlets three. Yeah, seven servlets. So in index.html, what I'm trying to do is that it's very simple HTML code and this is the heading and I'm creating a form. The moment I click uh, the button it should go to save servlet it is here over here okay i'm using the method as post and i have these five fields which is similar to my uh, table columns like id name password email and country so id name password email are text fields and then this country is going to be a drop down list okay so where i have few options uh, so that the user can select all right and then I have one button that, uh, so it is going to uh, show something like this, save employee. So the moment I click the button, it will directly save the records. Okay. Uh, so the code is written inside this. So uh, the first thing which you have to understand is that I kept, um, this is something like in MVC pattern. I kept the variables over here you can see that that is emp.java so this is emp servlet uh, means we can call it as pojo class or a model okay so and then this emp dao will act as a uh, controller where it accepts the uh, input means it it process the input the rest of the things are like a view okay so whichever the things the user can for example view servlet means it will display the entire um, records for the user. So what I'm doing over here is that this is the class and I have five fields right in the table and also in the index.html. So that is ID, name, password, email and country. So I have these five variables. So in this POJO class, I'm just going to have variables, getter and setter methods. That's it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create get and set methods for all these five variables. So that is get ID and then return this ID. Similarly, set ID, pass the ID, uh, I mean, uh, have one parameter and then assign the ID. So similarly, uh, I'm going to do the same for the rest of the variables like get name, set name, get password, set password. And then I have get email, set email and get country set country that's it so this is my model all right now in emp dao that is data access object so what i'm going to do here is that here i'm going to uh, write my complete logic of uh, database connection and then the operations also i'm going to define like save edit update delete select and all these things okay so hope you know the full form of CRUD, C-R-U-D, create, retrieve, that means select, and then U for update and D for delete. Fine. So these are all the operations which I'm going to do. So here I have only two packages. You can see that util.star and sql.star. So uh, first, I have one method called as get connection. And in that, I'm just going to have a simple try catch. So because I need to perform five operations. so I don't want to repeat these two lines again and again. So I kept these two lines common. That is class dot for name registering the driver. Uh, so the moment you register the driver, you need to add the 
uh, don't forget to add this connector mysql connector jar file don't add zip file it is a jar file in the libraries okay so this is the syntax for that and then here you need to specify the database name jdbc mysql localhost and the port number this it is not necessary um so the database name is test right so this is the database name you can see that test and my table name is servlet crud okay now back to netbeans and you can see that the router uh, the username is root and password is empty this is my sql username and then password don't mix up your tomcat username password along with this okay now i'm just returning the connection that's it now this is for save so i have few methods like save and then this is for update and uh, delete method and then get employee by id only and then get all the employees fine so now let's explore this um, method save so this is emp we know that this is the emp uh, servlet so i'm creating an object for that okay means a reference and then you can see that i'm passing this emp dao can you see this emp dao into the connection and i'm saying get connection okay so this step is common for all the operations and then here now save means that i need to save all the records means all the fields which the user enters so what i'm going to do is in prepared statement i have this operation uh, means this is the sql statement like insert into the table name values i have five values means five placeholders so how i'm going to uh, get those values who is going to get i mean who is going to type the values the user in the index.html right so i'm saying set in the set string and all according to the data types okay and then i'm passing this is one refers to the first position so similarly uh two three four five and this e dot get id get name get password and everything will be you know taken from the index.html and then it should pass into this so now it will it will get set here after getting the value and then we are setting it and then executing execute update method has been called here so once uh that is what so here in save servlet i will simply call this method that's it that is why we are we are defining everything in this emp dao file itself similarly and then i have a variable status if the status greater than zero then that particular you know successful message will get executed now again similarly for update i'm doing the same you can see that i'm passing the connection and then prepared statement so here i'm, I'm passing this uh, sql statement update uh, database name sorry table name here and then set these columns whichever the column you want to update you can mention so in this case i have mentioned all the four column names using id i'm going to update so now again who is going to pass this values uh, the user in the index.html form okay so that is why i have kept all those things here and then again i'm executing update so similarly for delete um, i'm going to just delete a column using id so i'm saying i'm passing this id so again i'm using the same connection here and then prepared statement i'm saying delete from table name where id equal to placeholder so i'm passing the value here so whatever the id it will be taken and then it will be updated means it will be deleted now now here in get employee by id um, i'm going to get employee information a particular employee information with his or her id so i'm just writing the sql statement like this and then i'm putting the information in the result set means uh, i'm using execute query method and then result set is a cursor we know that it uh, stores the tabular value uh, tabular data basically so the cursor will move forward only by default okay so if you want to make it scrollable then we need to do some changes so you can see that rs.next means it will go forward and then i'm going to just uh you know traverse to the first column second column third column and fifth column like this and then here 
again i'm saying get all employees so here i'm just going to run the select query again without any where class so select start from table name so it is going to print all the employee information means all the columns so the so this is the code so in this case i i'm using a list and then inside that i'm using array list to list all the uh, employee information means list all the rows okay so in this case i have only one record in the table so that will be listed so this is the entire code in emp dao which you have to understand now now let's go back to this index.html so if i enter all these information in index.html form uh, and then if i click the log uh, save button it should go to the save servlet now let's see what is there in save servlet i have just opened save servlet for you you can see that um, then i'm using do post and then i'm just getting you can see that i'm just getting all the values from the index.html using request.get parameter and then the text field names okay which we have uh, created and then you can see that i'm creating an object for this class and then i'm setting all the values whichever the values i'm getting from this and then i'm putting in these variables now i'm passing these variables into this so that the values will get set that's it so here if the status so empdao.save so from empdao i'm calling that save method you can see that i'm writing save so that is what i have kept save and then i'm passing this e so whatever the values are here it will get saved so now if the status is greater than zero means if any new uh, record got uh, means it will be incremented right so now one record we have inserted so it should show that record saved successfully and then i'm saying request dispatcher go to this index.html okay fine now uh if not then there is some error message so this is what uh, about save now in view servlet let's see view servlet so view servlet we have uh two options right like we we need to get the information uh of all employees then you can see that here um, do get method and then here again i'm calling this empdo dot that particular method get all employees and then from the list from the list and i'm using this for each method uh okay you can see that um and then i'm i'm traversing this employee uh, class from the list using the list and then i'm just printing all the calling all the methods you know getter setter methods we have created i'm using all the methods here e dot get email and you know country and all these things so it'll get displayed here so it means it is going to display all the uh, employee information for me and then here i'm creating one more hyperlink for delete servlet so here if i want to delete i'm going to get it uh, I'm, I'm going to delete using an id so i'm getting only the id and then i'm performing the delete operation so this you will understand once i run this particular code now we have seen a save code and then view right and then let's see this delete uh, so there i have created the hyperlink right for delete so here i'm just calling this one like empdo.delete this is a method which is created using id that's it and then the moment i delete this it should redirect to this view servlet so i need to see the updated records in that case and then similarly i have edit so here i'll be calling uh, the i want to edit a particular employee so using his id right so uh, that's why i'm saying that empdo get element by id so uh, whatever the employee id which you want to edit that particular employee id will be taken and then i'm using a hidden form field here we have already discussed this concept so hope you are aware of this uh, if not please check the previous video which i have posted so that hidden form field is this edit servlet too so where i have written update code in that okay now here uh i'm just going to take all the fields it, this is simply the copy paste of index.html code but everything is in hidden form all right 
so and then what i'm saying is that in hidden form field uh, i need to get all the values the by id and then i'm passing it to edit servlet 2 okay so there is a button uh, called save um, edit and save button so in edit 2 we can see that i have used this one M -E -M -P -D -O dot update. i'm calling this update method actually right by getting the values from the hidden form and then just setting it into the particular variables and then i'm calling that particular method so and then i'm redirecting it to view servlet so this is how it works um, now let me run this once so that you will get the picture uh, my database is connected and everything is running in the background and let me say view employees and currently i have one record you can see that even here this is my mysql table that is servlet crud you can see that id number is three and then there is one record so it is displaying it so here either i can add employee new employee or i can edit and delete so let, let me add one more employee let's say one and then rk keynotes let me say this password one two three something like this so let me say subscribe at gmail.com and india and then the moment i click save button so right now it is an index.html so, so if i click the save button it should show this message record saved successfully that comes from save servlet all right now let's view employees so you can see that in the footer it shows view employee view servlet right so if i click this it is going to view servlet and then you can see that there are two records now if i click on edit if i click on edit i want to change the password over here so let's say if i click on edit it shows edit servlet right so let me just change this one to one two three four five something like this and then this is the button edit and save now this editing using what we are editing using id right a particular employee id so this is what get uh, employee by id which we have written two two methods we have and there we have created hidden form field let me show you that view page source you can see that these informations which we have passed will be stored in this hidden form field input type equal to hidden eid equal to three and then the rest of the information will be stored in this you can see that right so all this information name this name and then password and the rest of the informations and everything will get stored here in hidden form field so you can do it in another way also you can directly update it but i'm uh, i have done this one uh, so if i say edit and save now it again goes back to view servlet and then it returns the updated password over here now if i click on delete you can see that delete using id 3 in the footer it is automatically displaying this particular thing delete servlet uh, question mark id equal to 3 so this is again delete using id right click on this and then it is getting deleted now again if you want to delete this now delete even this also now there is nothing in in my uh, table so let's go back to the database and then refresh here and even here servlet crud is empty getting it so this is how uh, we can perform a crud operations using a web application and with the help of servlets so hope you got something from this video uh, try this particular concept and uh, let me know if you have got any queries in the comment section i'll help you out uh, if you like the video hit the like button thank you and thanks for watching the video